Ever wondered what creatures in the ocean are completely out of this world? From glowing fish to alien like crabs, these mysterious critters have scientists scratching their heads wondering if they really belong on Earth. Get ready to have your mind blown by the strangest, most otherworldly animals you had never knew existed right here on our planet. A head so transparent it reveals the mechanics of its own eyes is not exactly what you'd expect to find lurking in the depths of our planet, yet the barrel eye fish is one of those creatures. Suspended in near total darkness, this odd little creature shows off a crystal clear dome that lets you watch its tubular eyes swivel around like tiny security cameras in its head. The rest of its body might seem ordinary at first glance. But that bizarre jelly-like forehead stands out as if some deep sea alien engineer decided to skip a skull entirely. Scientists believe that this evolutionary quirk helps the bear lie track prey by looking straight upward through its own head. As if the fish is wearing a see-through helmet, giving a full tour of its internal gears and making every other animal look downright basic in comparison. A gruesome grin and a glowing rod dangling from the forehead wouldn't look out of place on a sci-fi movie poster, yet that's exactly what the female deep sea anglerfish wields down in the blackest corners of the Pacific. With a built-in headlamp that lures unsuspecting prey right into a gaping mouth bristling with needle-like teeth, this predator turns the concept of subtlety on its head. Stranger still, the males are tiny and latch onto the females permanently, losing their individuality to fuse like bizarre biological accessories. The result is a creature so outlandish and weird, so unearthly, that calling it a monster feels almost too generous. It's more like a living lesson in just how weird nature can get when no one's watching. A snout extending out like a flattened blade and jaws that shoot forward like a horror movie trap give the goblin shark a look that belongs in a galaxy far, far away. Not far enough though, because it's here on Earth. Often hauled up unexpectedly from submarine canyons, this pinkish predator seems more myth than marine. Its skin is pale and ghostly, and it can flip its jaw out so fast it's hard to believe it's even attached. Paleontologists call it a living fossil, but the term almost sells it short. This shark's ancient lineage feels like a cryptic message from another era, if not another world. In a deep ocean filled with outlandish creatures, the goblin shark stands out as the weirdo that even other bizarre species probably whisper about. The vampire squid, a creature with a name that dramatic, better have the looks to back it up, and the vampire squid delivers draped in velvety red membranes and sporting eyes that glow with an unsettling blue. It floats through low oxygen zones that would kill most other animals. While it's actually a gentle scavenger, its sinister silhouette, faintly illuminated by its own bioluminescent spots, creates the illusion of a winged phantom drifting through alien waters. The vampire squid's ability to survive where few others dare suggests that it's figured out secret deep sea hacks that border on the supernatural. It might not suck BLOOD, but it sure knows how to keep a haunting vibe going in the darkest corners of our planet's oceans. The Yeti Crab. If a sculptor tried to craft a crustacean after hearing only vague rumors of Earth life, they might come up with the Yeti Crab. Discovered scuttling around thermal vents in the Pacific, this ghost white crab sports hairy, furry looking claws that serve as cozy homes for bacteria. Instead of shying away from inhospitable vent fluids, it thrives there, forging a partnership with microbes that might as well be cooking up gourmet meals just for it. Between its freaky fuzzy arms and its uncanny pale body, the Yeti crab feels more like a prototype of an alien line of designer pets than a real life Earth species. Seeing one can be startling, like a cryptid come to life, or a secret experiment escaped from a hidden underwater lab. Fields of red tipped tubes waving in the darkness around scalding hydrothermal vents might not sound appealing, but giant tube worms have built entire communities out of these hellish conditions. These towering worm like creatures, reaching over six feet long, have no mouths, no stomachs. Instead, they rely on bacteria cranking out energy from chemicals belching out of the Earth's crust. The result is a surreal scene straight out of an extraterrestrial meadow. Slender white cylinders crowned in bright crimson plumes forming an alien-like garden 
hidden miles under the Pacific. They're proof that life doesn't just adapt, it thrives in places that would seem impossible by any normal standard. A pudgy body with ear-like fins that flop around in slow motion makes the Dumbo octopus a cross between a cartoon character and a visitor from a distant star system. Floating through the crushing depths with gentle flaps of its ears, this little weirdo doesn't bother hunting big flashy prey. It quietly scoops up morsels drifting by, as if savoring a quiet life at the edge of Earth's final frontier. Its gelatinous skin, soft curves, and calm demeanor feel too serene for such a harsh environment. Spotting one can feel like a blessing, a graceful reminder that even in the darkest corners of our planet's peaceful alien elegance can glide by without a care. A body so transparent you can see straight through to its insides sounds like a prank of nature. But glass squids take this quirk to the extreme. Hanging out in the Pacific's dim twilight zones, many species are almost entirely see-through, making them nearly invisible to predators and prey alike. Some light up with gentle glows, turning them into drifting lanterns and a watery world that barely knows what sunlight is. Nothing screams otherworldly like an animal engineered by evolution to all but vanish into its surroundings. Whether shimmering faintly or gliding in ghostly silence, these squid operate on a level of natural stealth that would impress the most cunning extraterrestrial spy. A creature that looks like a swollen pale sausage strolling around on tiny stubby legs is odd enough on land, but in the black depths of the Pacific seafloor, it's downright uncanny. The sea pig, a type of sea cucumber, gathers in huge herds roaming the muddy bottom in search of sustenance. Their bloated bodies and wiggly little appendages make them seem less like earthly critters and more like aliens sent to terraform an unknown planet. They don't have eyes as we know them, and their methods of surviving down there remain partly mysterious. Watching them trundle by in groups can make the dark seafloor seem even stranger, as if you're stumbling into a secret alien migration that's been going on eons before anyone noticed. A structure so delicate and beautiful that it could pass for a handcrafted glass sculpture, Venus's flower basket sponge sets the bar high for otherworldly design. Found in the western Pacific, its intricate lattice work of silica spiculus forms a symmetrical mesh that would amaze any architect, human or otherwise. It's not just pretty, tiny shrimp couples sometimes end up trapped inside, forming a lifelong partnership sealed in this gleaming fortress. That's right, an underwater sponge that doubles as a romantic prison, complete with its own bizarre social arrangement. This blend of art and biology, utility and elegance makes it feel less like a mere organism and more like a living piece of alien technology left behind to inspire awe and confusion in equal measure. All that said, I've been your host James. I will catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video.